YouTube. All right. This is Stack McLernan. I'm back, and uh, I just wanted to go over a few things from the last video that I didn't mention in this one. A couple things with this marker that are awesome, that just came out, and I just got my hands on, okay? And that's the infamous back cap and the infamous deuce trigger, okay? I got those today. We're going to be showing you how to put them on. Super simple. If you're not a handy guy, this is going to help you, show you how to do it. I mean, right on the front page, it's showing you how the trigger assembly connects. These are all things that are important and we're going to go over today. And I cannot wait to show you guys my upgrades for my new 170R that I just got from Quickshot Paintball and a couple of the infamous parts that I just got in. Shout out to Harrison Fry, shout out to Infamous Paintball, uh, Travis Lemansky, that entire program. We love you. We love Planet Eclipse and thank you for shipping me my stuff so fast so that way I can put it into this video today. All right, so I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, I'm going to open up the box here. comes with a cool box, different, uh, different little skulls and stuff on it from Infamous. They're always pretty cool about that. This is the trigger itself. Um, on a first look, it looks small to me. Um, it looks small to me. That's because it doesn't come with the back frame here, if you will. There's a black frame that's in the trigger guard um, that you're going to want to take the screw out of okay still keeping pressure on it with your allen key so it doesn't drop off into the frame the blade of the old trigger if you will will fall off now you're going to position this into the frame into the housing while still keeping pressure on the back screw and then attach it now if you see any type of movement that's not firm or it doesn't sit flush with that back black cap then you need to try it again because it's not going to sit correct. All right. So a couple things I did want to show you before I do the install. Um, that's what we're looking at here. Okay. And I, I love it. Honestly, I think it's great. It's got the little skull uh, insignia in the back. Um, just letting you know what it is. It looks super sexy on the gun. I, I went with silver. I have a silver... Um, GTEC 170R, so I thought that the, the pure look would be perfect for it. Um, and so, yeah, so that's that's the trigger. Put that one away. And now for the coolest part. I thought this was super cool. Um, I was huge into the infamous uh, CS2s and different markers like that, their own brands of things, even when they shot the, the infamous uh, Egos and stuff. But this was what was so intriguing to me. These back caps look so bad A um, when you're filming, when you're watching, when these guys are playing. It's just something that looks so different than the original back cap. And, I, and that's why I went and, and I grabbed it. Um, I wanted to say they do cost some money. Um, the nose here is a little sharp for your hand. So if you're, you're not wearing gloves, you know, be aware. It's not smooth like the other back cap. But for the money supporting the team of infamous and supporting you know a, a individual look and i think that's what this video is going for this is the drip drip okay these back caps the 170i which is the infamous 170r gtec and these triggers these are really offsetting on the gun and they make the guns look stunning not that that takes away from Planet Eclipse in any regard, but I just truly believe that these two upgrades alone are the bee's knees, and you're going to see at the end of this video the transformation that it's really going to make. Next up, I have my aftermarket carbon fiber barrel. I have it shimmed out so I can run shims. That's what I used to call them, being from the East Coast. Um, we call them shims. You guys call them inserts. People think I'm crazy, I'm a Jersey guy, they're shims to me. This is bored out so I can put a shim in there, any different types of bores. This was the um, upgrade that I was talking about in the last video, what you can do to not use the stock barrel. Not that there's anything wrong with the stock barrel, but this right here is a high quality barrel and I will tell you it's so much lighter. This carbon fiber is so much lighter than the regular barrel and the fact that you can just pop and pull different 
um, inserts or shims to match the paint that you're using is what separates this from the stock barrel. And honestly, if you're not running board paint or a board barrel to the paint you're using, you're not shooting that accurately. This is everything that you need and will extremely upgrade the accuracy and the performance of your GTEC 170R just simply by matching the paint with a better barrel than your stock barrel. And lastly, I'm so excited, the last upgrade that I'm gonna do on my 170R GTEC is these pure white grips. Now I will tell you, I'm a little upset with everybody. All right, and I'm upset because I tried to find myself some HDE tan green boys to go on my silver gun because I thought that looked so sweet and I saw that set up on ANS gear and I wanted that. Talk to Planet Eclipse, okay? I talked to Larry at Quick Shot. I reached out to ANS gear. Nobody has the tan grips, okay? So if anyone has tan grips for sale, comment in the video. I would love to buy them from you. Instead, I went with the pure look, okay? We went with all white. I got these for a great steal from Larry at Quick Shot, and I'm gonna be putting them on my 170R. So I just wanna go over a couple of the upgrades that I got right off the top. Brand new barrel, okay? The carbon fiber barrel that's bored out to have different shims into it to match your paint. The Violent Deuce Trigger, okay, from Infamous. Shout out to Infamous, Harrison Fry, all the boys, Travis Lemansky. I got the Infamous Skull back cap, okay? And lastly, we're gonna add these grips on on a how to do, super easy, plug and play, couple screws. It changes the look of the gun, it really does. And I'm gonna show you guys the before and after um, of this you know, stuff put on. This is the before. And we're gonna go ahead and get right into uh, the demonstration of what I'm doing, how I do it, and we'll show it to you.